Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and for today's lesson, we have Nakamura by Hayeres Kayori. Sounds just like this. So, what we're going to see in this first part is the intro and the verse. The song is played in the key of E flat major. And for the intro, we have a back and forth between two chords, E flat major 7 and D flat major 7. So, for E flat major 7, we're playing a four notes voicing, E flat, B flat, that's for the left, D and G for the right. Next up, we have D flat major 7, we're going to play the same chord, a whole step lower, having D flat and A flat on the left, playing C and F for the right. So two chords only for the intro. To recap, E flat major 7, four notes voicing, and D flat major 7, a whole step lower, four notes voicing. Here's the playing pattern we're going to use for this intro. Three, four, one, and two. Three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so starting the intro, we have a basic back and forth. E flat major seven played on the first beat, and then D flat major seven played on the end of the first beat. Okay, we're going to do that twice. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Then after that, we're going to replay E flat major seven on the first beat. Then play D flat major seven on the second and third beat. Go back on E flat major 7 on the 4th beat, this time playing with a grace note. So I'm playing F with my 2nd finger and going up on my 3rd finger playing G. So that's the grace note we're going to play on the 4th beat. One, two, three, four, five. And also notice that on that measure, I'm going to add one beat and count up to five. So here it is from the top. Three, four. One and two. Three, four. One and two. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat. One and two. Three, Four. One and two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So like I just did for the intro, we're going to replay that pattern twice. Here it is again, slow tempo. Two. Three. 
four. And that's all we need for this intro. Next up, we have the verbs. And here for the chords, we start on a position for E flat major. I'm playing B flat, E flat, and G on my left. Having C and F for my right hand. And actually playing this chord, we're going to play this way. So first I'm playing a grace note on top here from F going up on G, second finger on F and third finger on G, just like so. I'm going to play it and break. And directly after that, I'm going to go back on my right hand playing C and F. Then still with my right hand, I have this melody line, B flat, C, D, and B flat again. And then after that, I'm going to play my second chord for the verse, and that's F minor 9. F and E flat on the left, G, A flat, and C. Then I'm going to go off key and play this. A minor 9 on my left. I have this, four notes, G and B, C and E. I'm playing all those notes at once for the left. And then for the right, simply two notes, G and B. Also with a grace note from A going up on B. Second finger and third finger. After playing this A, minor 9, I'm going to add D using my pinky, just like so. And directly play after that B flat 11. On my left, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Playing C and E flat on my right hand. I'm going to play this chord and then play one F on my right hand using my third finger here. So we have A minor 9, then B flat 11. And we're going to end the progression here for the verse. That's all the chords that we need. So recap, E flat major, your position for E flat major, then this melody line, B flat, C, D, B flat, landing after that on F minor 9, A minor 9, and then finally B11, sorry, B flat 11. Also here, here's the playing pattern, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so starting 
progression, I played my position of E flat major with the grace note. All right, I'm going to stay there for two measures and replay it on the first beat of the second measure, just like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And also replaying the chord on the second measure, I'm going to add some notes before it. Just like here, for example, I replayed G using my third finger right before playing E flat major on the second measure. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So that's an example. Then I have my melody line. B flat, C, D, and B flat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this melody line starts on the third beat. All right. Next up, we have F minor 9, A minor 9, and B flat 11. Playing this. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, as you can see, this measure is also a little bit longer. We're going to count up 6 beats for this one. We have F minor 9 played on the first beat. On the third, play A minor 9. On the fourth beat, play D using your right hand. So one single note. On beat 5, play B flat 11. And then on beat 6, play F on your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what you have to do after that is simply repeat the pattern from the top. Here it goes. That's the verse. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, five, last time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for the verse, we're going to replay that pattern three times, and then after that, we have the first pre chorus of the song. Alright, before the recap, let's replay the intro followed by the verse, slow tempo. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's recap and we play those two sections at full speed. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week for another Eurobeat.